So this video, we're going to talk about gear. Hi, I'm Ann, and behind the camera is my sexy husband, Wade, and we're Wade and Ann with Howie Van. In today's video, we wanted to discuss gear. And I'm not talking the gear that everybody kind of has in their van, like pots and pans or hoses and cords and wires and water filters. I'm talking more gear that maybe we've purchased as an additional add-on to make our van life a little bit easier or a little bit safer. So this is our version of just some of the, the gear that, that we've, we've purchased that we think you might find um, useful. If you've missed it, our, um, we have previous videos on some, um, some more deep, deep dive on the tour of our Gretsch Turismo Ion, as well as a, um, what we've done in terms of modifications. So we considered modifications being anything where we've drilled into the van, made it a kind of a permanent change to something that um, came with the van. That's what we're considering a modification. So that's in a previous video. And then we have this one where we consider gear more. What did we buy to make our van life a little bit easier? So to start with, we're gonna start with our GPS that we've purchased. This is the Garmin RV 890 GPS. It's touchscreen, it's very nice. One of the reasons why we got it is because we were thinking when we're traveling, we don't necessarily know all the restrictions for height, for weight on different roadways um, and things. So we thought this might be a great purchase. And funny story, on a highway that we always travel on, we were taking the, the rig out and um, we were trying to figure out why this GPS wasn't taking us the fastest route. When all the other GPSs that we have handy um, had our standard route. Um, and it was because uh, this thing said we had a weight restriction and that highway wouldn't allow it, which I had no idea. So it's already paid off quite well. This is a very handy GPS that takes into account the size and weight of our RV and tells us if there are any roads we shouldn't be going on. It also alerts us to steep inclines, sharp turns, and provides some information on campsites and amenities in the area. The biggest plus though, was the self-contained GPS unit that doesn't rely on cellular connection to work. So we should be able to use it anywhere we go. And let me just reemphasize that. Every once in a while, the GPS in the Mercedes goes down or the GPS or the maps in our cell phones won't work. And we're kind of stuck like, okay, now what? Whereas this one, you download all the maps. It's like having a paper map with you at all times. You download the maps and it's there and it doesn't rely on cellular. So that is honestly a big plus. Plus look at how convenient this little guy is. Oh my. For this and any other products that we're talking about in this video, we'll put the uh, price in a link. Um, in the description down below. All right, let's move on, shall we? One simple item that we've purchased that makes my life a little bit easier that doesn't come with the Mercedes is a visor vanity mirror. This is just something quick and easy. I don't want to go into a lot of detail. It's just a very simple mirror. What I like about it is A, it straps on, though the straps are really tight. Um, barely enough room to get across this really big visor, but it does work. I do like the fact that it has lights so you can turn it on and off. It's chargeable. Haven't had to do that yet. Had it for about six weeks. I obviously don't use it very much with the lights, but I can, and it is chargeable with a USB cable. Um, the one thing that I don't like about it is that when we're driving down the road, I don't have to use the visor. Well, there I am. As adorable as I am, I don't necessarily need to see myself all the time. So, I do like having a visor, just wish it had a little shade. And maybe I'll come up with something with some magnets or something and put it on this. Off to the next one. The next bit of gear that I wanna discuss is our Level Mate Pro. This is a high-tech version to solve the problem of is the rig level? And if it isn't, how many inches, you know, are the front tires off by or the back tires? And the Level Mate Pro does just that. Um, Level Mate Pro, really like it. It does have an app. You can use your phone and that's how you see which wheels need to be adjusted. One thing that isn't necessarily essential, but it's kind of fun and we've gotten used to it in the home, Google Home. It's a Google Home Mini. We found this cute little thing that plugs right into our outlet above the, above the, above our induction cooktop. Hey Google, 
play some music. Seriously. So what we got for the Google Home Mini, so that we don't have to have it sitting somewhere, this is a Google Home Mini mount, plugs right into the electrical outlet and keeps it up and out of the way. Another gear item that we were considering was a satellite phone. And one of the fears when you're out traveling and you're staying in different parks or you're staying in unknown areas is what is the cellular, um, what's cellular gonna be like? Are we gonna be able to use our phones? However, turns out iPhone 14 comes with an emergency SOS um, via satellite. So that kind of took care of that need. We didn't have to go buy a satellite phone. So in addition with um, cellular and internet is gonna be, um, what do we use for the internet? And we've chosen Starlink. Now coming soon will be a video in depth on why we chose it, what we like about it, how we're using it, how we've installed it, and where are we storing it? All of that is coming soon. And by the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe, it really helps us out. We really enjoy seeing your comments and we want you to be able to see all the content when it's available. So please subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Another bit of gear that we purchased is a towel rack. And right now I have the towel rack hanging. Come on in, Wade. I have the towel rack hanging on the shower rack. And it's very, very convenient. It's a very simple design where it just hooks wherever I want it. I thought for right now it's out of the way and it works great in the bathroom. So you can dry your hands very conveniently if I don't happen to have a towel. In addition, I can move it should I want it in the kitchen. I can just move it again wherever I want it and then there it is. One of the pluses storing it in the bathroom though because of the shower curtain and everything kind of holds the paper towels in place so it doesn't unravel while you're traveling. Having it here though makes it nice because it's a reminder to my husband not to hit his head on the shelf. Okay, the next bit of gear I want to talk about is our grill, camping chairs, and table. Um, the reason why I want to talk about them because they're a little bit, I think, I don't know if they're necessarily unique, but they fit very nicely in our owl boxes. So let me show you. And all of the products that we're talking about, we will have a link in the description. So our little camping table. It is, is cute, easy to do, voila, and I can make it higher. It's little, but it's functional. And then our two camping chairs. So Wade has one and I have one. I've got the, um, Hmm. I think this one's mine. I think it has arms on it. And then this one is his. Wade thought it would be fun to show you how I put it together. Hmm. We'll see. Chair number one. Wait for it. And it holds. Chair number two. I'm exhausted. Where's my wine? Again, all of these products are going to be on the description linked below. Finally, let me just close this up really quick and open this guy up because we have our, our grill. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. As with everything in, in van life, everything is on top of one another or in front of it. Never never fails that the one thing you want is, is below or packed in. So here is our electric grill. And if I was smart, I would have kept this open. 
here's our electric grill by Hamilton Beach. I have no idea where you can get it. I've had it for a million years, but it's a very little, very convenient grill. One of the things that I like to do is I like to make sure we are prepared. We're prepared for, for anything. Um, the rule of, you know, Murphy's law is if you're not prepared, that's the one thing that's gonna happen. So we try to avoid that by making sure we are prepared for, and we have contingencies and we have emergency, we have emergency gear. So one of the things you've probably been staring at is this good old shovel. This is from um, Alvans, and that's to help basically dig us out should we need to. Um, we also have um, this Rotopack. This contains about two gallons of diesel um, should we need it. Thinking about doing a road trip to Arizona, and we know that um, sometimes the gasoline or diesel can be hard to find. Also, if we see somebody stranded, it would be nice to help out. Though I'd probably be asking for money because, damn, diesel's expensive. All right, also, we have a good old spare tire here for the eventual pop or flat or whatever. We do have this. We also as part of the van did come with the jack and everything like that so we can change the tire. So spare tire is very handy. On the inside, I do like emergency equipment if I haven't said that before. Sorry, it's a bit heavy. Nope, I'm not allowed to go that far. <laughs> right, right. So one thing I have is I have a three day pack for two people. This has water, it has food, it has first aid, it has a bunch of bunch of stuff that should we need it, should we get stranded, should we be in desperate dire straits, this should help us get us through for at least three days. Um, in addition, we have purchased an additional rotor pack. I just want to show you how conveniently it fits right here in the quote unquote garage. Look at that. It is the perfect fit. Two gallons of water. So I can see this being really handy if we're boondocking and we just need a little extra water to help us get through, to flush the toilets, to drink, to do whatever, but two gallons of water, should we be boondocking? This is fantastic. Additional emergency equipment that we have, obviously we have a first aid kit, a great one came with Gretsch. So I've got flashlights here, I've got flashlights in the, in the you know, more flashlights in the cab and I have flashlights in, in emergency equipment and in our day packs. Here's the first aid kit. Um, I have some more emergency equipment down here. This is like a, a whistle, um, some matches, things like that. Obviously the umbrella and a bite kit. So finally, I do have a couple more things in terms of emergency gear that I have. I do have day packs that are up in the back, um, kind of packed away. Um, we use those for our hikes. What it has in there is um, it has a life straw for, you know, so we can filter out water should we need to. It has a mirror, it has an emergency blanket, it has um, rope, matches, um, it has flint, a fire starter, should we need that? It also has some, you know, spare jackets, some bug spray, um, and a first aid kit. So we have those ready to go so we don't have to think about it, we just grab them, put them on our backs, maybe add some food to it, so we're good to go. Maybe add some, obviously we have to add some water to it, and that way we're good to go whenever we wanna do a hike. And so there are, those are our day packs. Um, I think in a future video, when I show what we pack, how we pack and where we store everything, I'll go through the day packs a little bit more in detail so you can see them. But in the meantime, the only other thing I kind of wanted to say is kind of what are some of the other things that we're thinking? Or better yet, why don't you guys comment and tell me what your essential gear is? What can you not live without or what do you think we're missing? Let us know. This is Wade and Ann with Howie Van. Thank you so much. Don't forget, Give us a thumbs up if you're liking it. Help us out, subscribe, keep us going. Thank you. Um, the response was so, you know, the response was so, that's what I wanna say. So this is the Garmin RV 800. No. Um, this GPS is uh, adjustable and you can turn it on and off. Um, the battery life seems to be pretty good. I don't use it that often. Can't seem to turn off the lights. Seriously? Oh, look at that. That's. Oh, I want to. It's getting hot in here. Okay. It's like a tin can. Open the door for a minute, just for a second. I'm going to go ahead and get it out.
Move him, Maggie. What the hell? Dear God. What the hell? 